Welcome everyone. Let's review magicschool.ai. When we enter that into our browser screen, we see the following page that is on your screen and we are going to select that we are an educator. Magic School does have um, student features, but today we're focusing on the educator features. Once in, it will prompt you to sign in. We are going to sign in using our school Gmail account through Google. And my screen may look a little bit different from yours because I have used the program. You do have the ability to add your favorites at the top and you can um, get your favorite tools to pop up at the top by clicking the star once you find your magic tools that you like to use the most. So we are going to also look um, when you scroll to the bottom, you can sort your tools. You can sort them by the most popular tools, the newest tools. Every time I log in, there's a new tool featured or you can sort them in alphabetical order. This is my favorite way to populate the tools so that I can just find it um, in alphabetical order and I'm not scrolling through all the many tools that they have and continue to add. Data table analysis is where you can generate a data table of your choice and Magic School also populates questions for you to utilize as well. So I'm going to select the data table analysis. So for the data table analysis, I am selecting eighth grade. And let's say I want to talk about uh, the top five NBA players. So for the sports fans. So we are going to select generate. And let Magic School do what it does best. And so once it finishes processing what you requested, it provides you a data table um, with the top five NBA players ranging from LeBron James to Steph Curry, their points per game, rebounds per game, assists per game, and their field goal or three-pointer percentage, as well as the teams that they play for. So this is information that you can utilize um, with your students, it tells you in the fine print um, that it came from the current season and it t gives you insight on what's provided. If you want to use this to export, you can select the copy here and it will export it. You can copy and paste it into Word or into a Google Doc. If I wanted to edit my prompt at any time, I can select edit. I can go back and change it. Maybe I want to change it to um, WNBA player and comparison. And I will generate that. It will give me a different table um, with the top five uh, prof professional players. Because I asked for comparison, Note that it gave me questions for analysis. Which player has the highest points per game? And how does that player compare to the lowest points per game? All right, calculate the average rebounds for the top five players. So again, the more details you include, the more information um, Magic School can give back to you. All right, we're going to go back to our Magic Tools on the left corner. And the next tool we're going to utilize is lesson plans. And again, I have it favorited, so it's at the top in my favorite section. I'm going to be able to generate a lesson plan. Again, I'm going to select eighth grade. I'm going to use our most recent um, topics of standards. So I'm going to go and copy and paste those from my cheat sheet that I already have. And so our topic we've been discussing is functions. Our standard is copying and pasted straight from our uh, county standards and our curriculum guideline and curriculum maps. And the objective is the topic that I took from the book and also the title of the lesson. All right, you can even add some additional criteria. Students recently
and I set the standards aligned to South Carolina. And we're going to click generate. And within a matter of about 15 seconds, we have a lesson plan um, with a learning objective, an assessment objective, some of the key words and points that students need to be able to define and understand, an opening activity, introduction to new material ways that you can present the material as you start um, the lesson, and then some guided practice ideas. We have uh, an independent practice ideas and a closing activity, exit ticket, extension activities, homework, and how it is aligned to the standards. It does tell us what state standard it's aligned to. Again, you can copy and paste this into a Google Doc or into a Word document. If you want to edit what Magic School AI has given you, you can select the edit tool. And if you want to go back and change your prompt or maybe add another standard, you can simply click edit prompt and add the standard of your choice. Let's look at the math story word problems. We are going to use the eighth grade level questions and the number of questions. I always recommend you use the maximum amount of questions that are allowed. That way you can delete any questions or not use the questions that you don't believe will best fit your student. And in the math standard box, I put my math standard straight from our curriculum map. And the story topic, as you see, it has an idea, it has Beyonce concert. You can literally use any idea you want. I'm gonna talk about iPhones. Seems to be a hot topic right now. And we're gonna generate Within about 20 seconds, I do have 10 word problem questions dealing with functions that align to the standard that we're discussing. And I have a variety of questions. I already see some are talking about percentages of change. And so those may be the questions that I eliminate. Um, but there's some questions that ask students to create a graph. And there are some questions that ask them to show the price of depreciation. Some questions ask students to describe the intervals when the graph is increasing and decreasing. So there's a variety of questions. And again, anything that is produced through Magic School, you always need to review it for accuracy. Review it. Use your professional judgment to make sure that it is something that can be distributed to the students. If there is anything you want to change or you want to try a different prompt, you just change your prompt. You can type a different topic. And within the click of a button for generate, now we have 10 new questions about music concerts. I see that uh, it has linear and nonlinear because that is based on the standard I gave. If I wanted to edit my prompt to take out the nonlinear um, description in the standard so that I would not have any um, exponential functions, I can do so. Or I can just copy and paste this or edit this and delete number two because I don't want to use that question. All right, and the last magic tool we are going to talk about is the math spiral review. And this is where you can generate a variety of questions um, based on a variety of standards and topics. The maximum number here is 15. And again, I recommend you use the maximum so you can delete what you don't use. I selected several standards from our curriculum map and I just copy and pasted them into Magic School. And here is my copy and paste of those standards. 
and see how it has in your additional criteria. You can make them just word problems. You can make a mixture of some easy, some difficult. I'm going to ask for some easy, some difficult. I'm also going to ask it to make it a variety of questions. We're going to select generate. And I now have 15 um, questions ranging from the last five units of study from our curriculum maps. And I can choose the ones that I like to use if I want to edit the prompt and pick a different standard or if I want all multiple choice questions I can tell magic school to make all multiple choice not just one multiple choice and if these questions I would like to use these I can copy it export it to a Google Doc or to a Word document and have this for kids if I want to put it into a Google form I have my questions that I would like to use for a Google form thank you for your time and um, here's to using Magic School to benefit us and our students in the classroom.